Hi everyone, so good to have you here again. Thank you so much for always tuning in to my channel. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for always being here. You guys are simply the best. And don't forget, we're here to give you the latest, the hottest, most reliable and authentic news as it drops by the hour. And right here we have uh, a very interesting news and it says, and I'm the Kano has asked all beer friends not to sit at home from 27th yes before he said that i believe there's a reason why he's saying there should be no there should be no seat at home for beer friends and i believe beer friends should uh, stick wisely to that because the leader of the indigenous people biafra ipop mazenam de kanu has said that on tuesday to uh, through his newsman in my powerful and he said because it is uh, Biafra's day and there will be no sitting at home that there's much more to do than to sit at home this uh, Biafra day but before I bring you details as to when and why he said uh, no seat at home guys if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and ensure that you turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified anytime we drop a new video all right don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also help us share this video because this will mean so much to us thank you so much for always staying tuned all right let us see why uh ipob leader on the kano have said that there will be no seat at home from 27th it's really to say the leader of the indig indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Mazen Namdekanu, on Tuesday advised Biafrans to dedicate three days to pray for her fallen heroes. Kanu, who disclosed this in a statement sent to newsmen by his group publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, said this said that this year's Biafra Day would start with prayers and end with prayers. He said there will be no seat at home, noting that people have stayed longer at home during the coronavirus lockdown. IPOP wouldn't like to bother people with another lockdown in form of seat at home, he said. The statement reads, We, the global and indefatigable family of indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, aptly led by Mazi Namdekanu, a prophet and liberator of our time, wish to announce to the people of Biafra, friends of Biafra, enemies of Biafra, lovers of freedom, and as well as the world, that Biafrans will remember and commemorate our fallen heroes and heroines who made a supreme sacrifice for us to live on 30th of May 2020. After much consideration and deliberation, IPOP High Command decide to urge beer friends both home and in the diaspora to observe this year's remembrance and celebration of our brothers and sisters who were killed and starved to death during the genocidal war on the peaceful land of Biafra by Nigerian government and her foreign allies, including Egypt, Britain, USSR, and Czech Republic between 1967 and 1970. Through fasting and prayers, the program for this year's event will last for three days from 27th to 30th of May 2020. This year's episode and event will start with prayers and end with prayers. There will also be a candle procession at every state, local government, ward, and church in our land. It is very imperative that our people observe these great days for those who pay the ultimate price and sacrifice their youthful lives for our own lives to be today. This great event will start on the 27th and end on the 30th of May. There won't be any seat at home or indoors because our people stayed much at home these days during the coronavirus lockdown. IPOP wouldn't like to bother people with another lockdown in form of seat at home. This year's anniversary will begin with leading of Psalms, reading of Psalms of David from chapter 1 to the last chapter. Every individual and group should observe this year's prayer designed to remember our fallen heroes and heroines who paid the ultimate price for our living. Nigerian government and our partners in crime decide to wipe out the whole race, but God Almighty in heaven, Chukwu Okika Abiyama, said no to that through these our brethren who sacrificed their lives for us 
to live. Therefore, IPOP families and BF friends across the across countries of the world are encouraged to use this year's anniversary to pray for all our fallen heroes, including all those who were killed by the overzealous Nigerian security personnel in the course of the renewed quest to restore Biafra. We, we shall also use this year's event to prevent to pray for divine protection of all Biafrans everywhere on the surface of the earth against the COVID-19 pandemic ravaging the world. We shall also pray for the speedy recovery of all those infected with the scourge and for immediate end of the global pandemic. So that is it guys. Um, people of Biafra, you've been asked to pray for the fallen heroes and for those that are sick, for those they want, you know, Biafrans want a one Nigeria, a Nigeria that would make sense, a Nigeria that there will be freedom of speech, freedom of expression. And they said this year's 27 to 30th is a time to pray and also read Psalms. And the Psalm has been given that every Biafran should read from this moment till on the 30th of May. Yes, you've heard it, guys. If you're a lover of Biafran, if you're a Biafran, if you're a lover of Unam de Kanu, I believe you should join in this and pray for the fallen heroes. Thank you guys for always staying tuned. And don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section. If you are going to be a part of this, you'll be praying for the Biafra land. Please drop your comment and tell us what you'll be praying for. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please endeavor to hit the subscribe button and be a part of this family. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Do have a pleasant day. Bye.